hi guys i know i went a little bit quiet recently um i was going through a really hard time with my anxiety um and i'm only just slowly sort of getting myself back up but i had a couple of days where i stayed off of social media i didn't really talk to anyone um phil had to deal with me just crying being sad and it's not how you should feel after you've just got married we literally got married like four weeks ago and this isn't how i should be feeling um i'm in a better place now i'm out of the environment that was causing me the hurt and upset and i'm back in the hospitality environment um i just want to sort of explain a little bit i'm obviously 28 years old for anyone that didn't know and I can safely say that I was being bullied um, and at any age you can be bullied but it's not acceptable don't ever let anyone bully you the way that I got bullied it fully dragged me down and I'm full of regret now because I did stand up for myself on a few occasions but when someone slowly chips away at you you just there's no fight left in you um, so th that was basically what started my anxiety off, was that I was being bullied in the workplace. Um, like I say, I'm literally, I've just written out my notice. I'm about to go up with it now. Um, wish me luck. And then I've got someone coming round to just chill with me for a bit. I started my new job on Saturday. I went for the interview on Friday. And then they asked me to come in for like a trial shift on the Saturday and I ended up getting the job. And it was something that I've never done before. I did a wedding, I did a charity event. Um, it was a lot of fun. Obviously it's different to what I was doing because I was in the care environment. But at the moment, I feel like I need to take a step back from care because every care place that I've worked at, it's been a bit of a hostile environment. I'm going to miss where I used to work. I obviously won't say the name, but I am going to miss it because I made a lot of amazing friends there that I will miss working with. I know I'll still see them outside of work. And when you leave a place, you always find out who your true friends are because they disappear off of the planet. You never hear from them ever again. And you're like, sweet, cool, thanks. But I'm going to miss the people that I looked after I'm really, really going to miss them because you get attached. You're not supposed to, but I have no grandparents, so you get attached. You you can't help it. So I'm I'm going to miss them. Um, but I needed. Me and Phil had discussed it at length. Um, stuff like this kicked off a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, no, I can do this. I can get through it. And then it literally just got to breaking point where I phoned in sick for the very first time in six months. I never ring in sick. And I thought, I can't go back. So I ended up actively looking for a job, found one, had loads of interviews. Um, and I've managed to get one. So it's going to be a bit, the transition's going to be a bit sticky. I went to push up my glasses there. I don't have my glasses on. <gasps> the transition's going to be a bit sticky, but we'll get there. Me and Phil get through everything together and we'll get through this. But I just want to thank you guys for being so patient because I know content has literally just disappeared. Um, you got a load of wedding spam and then it disappeared. So I will be, because I'm going to have a few days off, um, I'm off tomorrow and then I'm not until Wednesday, so I might do something tomorrow. Haven't decided what yet, but I will be a lot more active. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm okay, I'm doing a lot better, and there'll be lots more funny videos, well, hopefully funny videos soon. Thanks, guys.